Here we go. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, uh, all you wonderful people out there in YouTube land. Uh, as you can see, I've got uh, Scott in with me this afternoon. Um, I'm not too sure if anybody else is coming in, but for the moment I've got Scott in. Um, I'll just stick Scott in the background for now. Boy! <laughs> and uh, he can start reading out names when I start doing some turning. So this is what we're, we're doing. I've got a, a piece of yew branch, which I'm going to turn into a mushroom and then turn it into a, an earring hanger. Uh, so I'll just... Change the camera to the overhead and we will get on and start doing some turning. And while I'm getting set up, Scott can start reading out who we've got in. Ain't you don't use? So we have uh, Steve Ash, Steve Ellis, Brian Anderson, uh, Jay. Mike Midnight Joker, uh, Christina Michael, uh, Wivy Woodshed, Nick, Baz, uh, where are we on to? Uh, Adrian the Hobby Turner, Mark the Gentleman Wood Turner, Paul Lockwood. Uh, Circular Wood by Keith says, Hey, Wayne, and my son. <laughs> you right, Dad? Um, who else have we got? Uh, that's all the names in the comments at the moment that I can see. I hope I haven't missed anyone out. If I have, I do apologize. Um, 22 watching at the moment, Wayne. Grand. Thanks, guys, for coming in. I've just got to find my partner to remember. <laughs> Where the hell have I put that? Oh, Georgina's in as well. I'll tell you what, man. You lost your part in tow. Yeah, well, memory like a flame and Not to worry, I'll just use me. I'll use my square carbide, that'll do. Let's pull this back a bit. I just want to get the bottom straightened off so I can put a, a tenon on there. We're running at about just over 800. Oh, so we've got Robert Toomler has joined. It's his first time watching a live video. Hi, Robert. Welcome. Good afternoon, Robert. Hope you uh, enjoy it and get something from it. Um, Colin Roberts has just joined. Hey, Colin. I'm much more comfortable with the partner. Too. Georgina's saying that it's turning into a nice morning, and now that she's here, it's an even better day, which is nice. Thank you. Georgina. Is that Georgina or Georgianne? Yeah. Uh, oh, Georgianne. Sorry, my Georgia, mistake. Yeah. Um, my mistake. Uh, Adrian's saying that Robert has picked the right person to watch first. Well, thank you, Adrian. Larry's joined us. Hi, Larry. Yeah, Robert, if you're new to turning or you've been a turn or you want to watch someone live, then um, Wayne is definitely the person to watch. He's been turning 30 plus years and lots of experience, willing to share, help people out. So definitely the right choice. Barry Fisher's has just joined. Hi, Barry. And as Jay says, 28 watching, 13 thumbs. So, uh, Blair's just joined us. Hi, Blair. Right, just see how I'm getting on the size of the tenon. 
nearly there, just a little bit more to go. And then I can get it reversed and put into the tub. So Mark's been in his workshop this morning sorting out his tool shelf and his media station. Oh, very good, Mark. Right, so that's the ten and all. Right, I'll just get my small parting tool and do what I usually do and just put a, a quick groove just in here. Ian Robertson's joined us. Hey, Ian. Move me monitor again. <clears throat> so, how's everyone doing? What have we been up to? Any exciting projects we've been turning, or are we back at work? Tommy Dunn. Hi, Tommy. Mm, so, slot that in there, bring the centre up just so it's nicely centralised. And get this tightened up. Ah, oh, Robert's saying that he's watched some of your videos and has uh, copied some of your pieces in the past. All oh, right. Thank you. Right, so what we're going to be doing now, this is probably a little bit short, this piece of wood, um, but we're just going to be doing a basic mushroom shape. Um, there will probably be comments going on in the, in the chat because of the shape of the mushroom. There always are comments. Um, I'm just um, giving my spindle gouge a quick sharpen. Steve saying to uh, Robert that there's lots of good demos on tomorrow. So you've got Ed Oliver in the morning. Um, I think Ed starts about 10. He does. Um, I'm at 1 o'clock, Blue Light Turner. Um, you've got Emma the Tiny Turner tomorrow afternoon. Evening, she starts about six. Um, you've got who's off that? Nick, um, the flaming turner, uh, about eight o'clock tomorrow evening. There is, um, for those that don't know, if you go over to the blind wood. Turner website. I'll find a link. Um, Chris and his wife Nicola are very kindly put together um, a calendar that um, when we let them know when we're going live, they update. You can see who's going to be live and when. anybody's got any questions that's fine if you could just um start the comment off with question in uppercase letters so scott can actually see that somebody's asking a question Wayne, so we've got a question from Mike. Um, yeah. Could I ask you to quickly show the pivot on his gouge sharpening jig, if that 
if there is an opportunity. The pivot on what, sorry? Right. Is that what you're talking about, Mike? That's the... I use a, a three-point post. That's the, the hole that you asked me to measure the size of the other day. And then that fits in like that. I'm going to change over tool rest. I'm going to use the small tool rest because I'm actually getting a bit far away from the, the piece. So I'll use the small tool rest and that way I can get closer. this area here I'm making this quite flat because this is going to have a load of holes drilled around from where the the earrings are going to hang from That's half again. question is sweet chestnut known for being weak if you use a spigot because I had a piece that sheared off not sure right. if it's a known issue or I was just unlucky uh, you were probably unlucky, to tell you the truth. Um, but uh, there are huge arguments about there on whether a mortise is the best thing to use for balls or whether a spigot is the best thing to use for balls. Um, I tend, unless I'm going to be leaving a foot on the ball, um, I tend to use a mortise all the time. Right. Damo joined us. John TDH has joined us. Hi guys. Steve Temple Boys joined us. Hi Steve. Good afternoon, Steve. Um, Richard Feeling. Uh, Wayne, um, when you get an opportunity, Dale is backstage. All right. Okay. Where's big house? Come on, mouse, work. There he is. Hello. <laughs> Hello, me. Hello. Right then, I'm nearly finished this. I want to leave a fair bit of wood here. So obviously the earrings have got some, especially for long dangly earrings, they've got some space to hang. So I've just popped the link in the chat for Chris Fisher. And so they try and keep it up to date as possible. Um, but Nicola's doing it out of the goodness of her heart, so she's trying to keep on top of it, bless her. My plywood turned up, Scott. Oh, that was a happy boy then. Yeah, yeah. I can see me needing to uh, order some more. I bought some cheap stuff too for putting in packaging. I don't think some of the bigger images I'm making, I can't ship them. You yeah. know, I mean, I need to put something around them a bit stiffer or they're going to get broken. That's what she said. Yeah, I'm. Um, I've now got probably. 15 cables underneath the laptop so I'm going to build a bigger oh. box this afternoon for them to uh, live in 
Right, that's the top done. Now I'm going to get rid of the bulk of this wood at the side. Because this is going to have a fairly thin stem on it. You know you buy a lot of stuff um, from, from folks that use DPD when you're first name terms with a guy? Yep. <laughs> We've got two regular DPD drivers. And One of them called Jason. No, we have Steve, who's really nice, really friendly. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have Sean. Uh, Things is almost exclusively Jason. Um, um, I haven't seen Steve for a little while, and he saw my ply the other day. I went, oh, I'm glad it's you. He says, why is that? I said, because the other one, I said, it's just really moody, really grumpy. Because obviously I was on crutches. He had this box. I went, mm -hmm. any chance you could just chuck it in a workshop? It's open. He went, yeah, not problem. I said, you asked the other one to do it. And he just moans. He went, yeah. He said, if you look on the um, DPD app, it says Sean, the grumpy bastard. Uh, uh, Steve, uh, Temple Boy comes and says, oh, Steve's are really nice and friendly. Yep. Ooh. One of the collective nightmares for Steve. Uh, Steve Ash says, generally speaking, Scott, Steve's are awesome. Not that I'm biased or anything. <laughs> the demo's posing a question, Wayne. Uh, yeah. Can we get a look on the grind on Wayne's large roughing gouge, please? Yeah, that's it. It's a straight across grind um, set at an angle of 45 degrees. So it just goes straight across. The wings aren't ground back or anything. Well, that was the point. What was the name of the? Uh, what was the name of the villain in Deadpool? Here, yeah, Steve. Uh, I've never seen Deadpool. Oh, mate, you're missing out. You need to watch Deadpool. I think this afternoon, this evening, family time. Um, so we're going to do a quiz um, and possibly watch a classic film. I'm back in the, the office, so to speak, in, in, at two-ish. Um, I'm asking them about shenanigans as usual. No. Uh, her, her appointment's been moved to the call this morning. Oh, hi, mate. So I'll probably just I'll probably just drive by and throw stuff out um, tomorrow morning, mate. If that's all right. Oh, right. I'm gonna go to the, yeah, I'm gonna go to the tip and you know run down the red hill and chuck some stuff out. Yeah. Have all my old floor to get rid of. See, I did a crafty this morning. Ours was um, general rubbish. See, yesterday afternoon I am. Um, I took all the black bags out of the bin, really, really, really bin. put them right off the top, in the bottom of it, and then put all the black bags back on top. Good man. I like your thinking. Never mind taking stuff to the recycling centre. Um, I really don't, but I hate that right now it's an absolute. You need to prevent the base. Um, I don't know if a question, Wayne. Uh, well, the base of his have any storage area for rings etc no pieces okay no i'm not making it into a box i'm just making it into a an earring hanger uh colin what's that i forgot the question hang on let me have a look colin we're not ignoring anyone deliberately um, oh here we go Wayne, have you ever had any problems with the Hope Pro sander? Using mine the other day, went to change the insert and it stuck fast. 
Um, no, I have never had any problems with the, the Hope Sandin system. No, no, have I. Um, Barry is asking directly, Wayne, Wayne, is it okay to plug a premiere, please? Yeah, of course it is. Baz, if you message me or dial the uh, link, we'll pop it up in the chat for you. I'm just going to put a different tip instead of me. I fell off my shaved head. I need a hat. <coughs> Um, Paul Lockwood saying, could have a small bow area around the base. On earring stands, you don't generally tend to see um, bits of rings. You normally get a ring tree, something different. Um, don't so big the ring is, really, I guess. But yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so tomorrow's lunchtime live. I was meant to be doing a collab with Keith. Oh. Um, that's changing. Um, I now think I can stand at the lathe, hopefully. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to do some spindle work. That's all I'm going to say at the moment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Wayne knows what we're doing for a bit of a laugh. But, yeah, we're going to do some spindle work. Oh, dear. It's lunchtime. You'd be, you be good. I'm being good. I'm being good. Oh, you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> uh, Mike saying bacon sarnie, mug of tea, lunchtime live. Pretty darned good. Um, Mike, I I will say uh, bacon sarnies, mug of coffee, um, lunchtime live. Pretty pretty bloody excellent. Uh, Steve, question, you... Wayne. Sorry, yeah. you, sir. I've I've done Colin's question, mate. I okay. went back up and found it. Um, Steve Ash, is it going to be a mushroom by any chance? Uh, it is it going to be is. a mushroom shape, but it's going to be uh, for hanging earrings. Do you use the uh, indexing system, Wayne, when you do your holes? Or no, no. All I'm going to do. It doesn't really matter how many holes you have around here. It all depends on how many earrings you want to have. It's just got to be an even number. Yeah. Unless of course, unless of course you call Douglas Douglas, in which case it doesn't really matter. Uh, ooh. Uh, Can't remember where that's from now. Was there a Billy okay. Connolly one? Which one? Douglas Douglas. Ugly Douglas Douglas. Douglas Douglas. Thanks, sir. Don't know. Can't be sure. Here's Baz. I'll um, pop it up in a minute. Adrian Sun is now hungry. I get behind being hungry, but I must confess I've I've had bacon sandwiches too. In I the last, the last of, time I had a bacon sandwich. I feel it's I feel it's part of your I feel it's an important thing. I think I feel big anyone anyone who has a requirement for bacon should have some. I think it's there. Oh. It's possible medical evidence to support this, I don't know. Huggless Douglas was a book about a little brown bear according to Google. So, so there we go, guys. That link is for Baz at Real Simple Things. He's got a premiere tonight at quarter to eight. Um, <laughs> With some pyro practice. Is that uh, Barry? Is that the the piece you posted on Instagram? Oh, so that is that's very cool. I like Steve Dash. Um, I'll come back to that in a minute. Question, Wayne: How fast yeah. are you uh, turning? Around about 820 at the moment. 
Uh, That's a relative question. Coming at the at the same time. Uh, Steve asked you, Sam, bacon buttons should be a requirement for the fly. I agree. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I think. I think. Uh, I uh, think they should bring back station cooks. So when we get into shift, we could, there's like a bacon butty waiting for us in the morning. I think that'd be. A, I think uh, that's a fantastic idea. Not just in the morning, bacon butty waiting for you any time. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, tea. Actually, hot tea and a bacon butty. Yep. Uh, Steve Ellis, rest- I know a cure for vegetarianism. <laughs> mm. Steve, share it. I'd love to. Uh, I'd love to cure it. So I've had another daughter go vegan this week, but she's one of those that's gone vegan and now is now trying to tell us what we should, shouldn't be eating and... Hey, 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 hey. Wait, did you shift? Uh, 19. Oh, splendid. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I recommend a medically uh, and a strategically proven approach, which I'm sure you've discovered yourself, which is ignore her. <laughs> oh, I, I do, mate. I do. <laughs> and I'll deliberately put animal-related products on the vegan shelf in the future. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's, there's, there's the sort of approach I like. Oh, you know, she is, oh, she bloody thinks so, is I'm, Billy Connolly once said. I'm, I'm not going to tell you what we used to get up to over in Oman when I was in the army. <laughs> Steve saying... Careful, Wayne. You don't have mushroom to get your tool in. Yeah, I know. You know, I haven't got a problem. People can eat what they want to eat, do what they want to do. Don't ram it down my throat. Unless it's a bacon sandwich. Yeah, unless it's a bacon sandwich. (laughs) What I am waiting for is we've got a um, since the factory estate's not that far from us there's a burger van on there yeah um, we, used to, we used to call them bacteria wagons up now but yeah yeah so um, I'm on first name terms it's too nice but she does a breakfast in a front stick or like half a front stick with like two eggs three bacon a jumbo sausage mushrooms that sounds positively lush. Uh, wait, CP is giving you a super chat win. Oh, thanks, Rob. Or a chicken Listen macaroni. <laughs> yeah. We need to be a, a show for one of those. And, uh... Alcoholic beverage to wash it down. Mm. <coughs> you know the um, like the the dead wood type stuff that you get for fish tanks and things. Yep. Yeah, I used to do families of mushrooms on set out on one of them with um, mice coming out of holes and things uh, to sell at fairs and things. Very popular. Vegetarians should be banned. They eat my food's food. Someone's just sent me a picture of the fact I can now buy an inflatable pub for the garden. Uh, it's like chili con carne, but it's macaroni. Not macaroni if it's chili con carne. Uh, it's a mix up. Uh, Keith's wife makes it for us when we're going away doing a show or we're sleeping in the, the camper. It is lush. Right, I'll bring the the teal stock away now and just take that little wee nubbity nub off the top. Are you allowed to use that term, Wayne? That's a steam at term. Yes, I wouldn't use that term in the evening, but I'll that, I'll always use it at lunchtime. That's a Steve term. That is nubbity nub. Yeah, that's probably where I go from. <laughs> Uh, Rob CP, question. Is getting a catch 
at 2,000 revs more dangerous than getting a catch at 500 revs? Yeah, Would you I'd say, say yes? I'd say Sorry, yes, Dale? because seeing as how the wood is turning to 2,000 revs, whatever's going to go wrong, whether it's the tool bouncing back, or whether it's the piece breaking up, it's going to be moving faster. So it's got a hell of a lot more chance of doing you some damage. Look at this, Green's hand sanding. I really like the shape of that one. So would that be a sail piece or would that be a James and a Nabbit piece? Oh, there'll probably be a Jane's going to nab it piece. Um, I think the last earring hang on, I made for Jane was so oh, good. Hi, that, that many years ago. And it was her birthday yesterday anyway, so. Oh, there you go. And she got... Um, <laughs> Steve, of, you're cheap. Only 25p. She got one of Andy's uh, seahorses. For a birthday. Nice. Um, now, Steve what I've done with says, um, people have got various ideas for doing the, the grits on sandpaper. I've just got a, a wee clip, which is got which has got a magnet on it, and I've got 80, 120, 180, and 240 on there. So that's how I organise my abrasives for sand and spindle work. There's nothing abrasive about that. That seems quite sensible. It's a good idea. I've got a toast rack. Um, I have a box. I've got two. Well, I've got I've got for, for a bit, I've got a, a the appropriate drawer with the sizes on it. It's four drawers up to two forty. Okay. Then I have a box of what I call my soiled sandpapers, <laughs> abrasives, yep. which I've got different colours of paint on them at some level. And they're used for knocking back. You know, yeah. So there's no point wasting another bit of sandpaper. Just pull out a bit that's roughly the right colour and knock it back um, on the app. That's my solution. But it's a very, it's a wonderfully organised tub. It would completely mess with you, Scott. Oh. Uh, where are we? So Wayne, Steve, saying you owe him twenty-five p for using his catchphrases. Oh bugger! <laughs> uh, John saying hand model time. It's a sanding rough look. How quickly do we think you'll be finished sanding? We should we should do a countdown. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> well, that's, that's the that's the, dun, that's the dun, dun. Uh, Steve Ash, steak should be classed as a veg. It comes from a cow, and cows get big by eating grass. The steak is one of your five a day. <laughs> Richard saying, "Don't let Emma see that mushroom, Wayne. She'll turn it into a fairy house." <laughs> I think Emma's going to be doing some more colouring tomorrow. I'm yeah, gonna... I think she's doing some more mushrooms and colourings and stuff, yeah, isn't she? she is. Right, I've done the 120, I'm going straight to the 240 now. How's the piff looking with uh, that bit, Wayne? Is it you managed to get most of it out? Where the hell is it? Um, the pith is the no. You can actually see the pith there. The pith on this branch was right at one side of the branch. Not taking the pith. Not taking the pith. No. no. Yeah, you might be lucky with that. Right then, um, I'll stick some cellulose sand and see what uh, next. Question, do you only use paper, Wayne, or do you use Abronet or similar, ever? Um, the 80 grit that I've got on here is uh, similar to Abronet, uh, but I won't be buying that again because it's worse than effing useless. Splendid. Looks like uh, a string vest. Yeah, it's um, as soon as it's, it, I think I can 
I think I can safely, when I'm bowl sanding in Gorod in me drill, I can safely sand one bowl, <laughs> and then it just falls to bits. Um, Mike the Magnetic Joker is offering an observation. He says, the path looks like a bum crack. <laughs> Cheers, Mike. Um, Baz is saying he's had two new subs. Thank you, guys. Ooh. Yeah, don't forget to check out other people in the uh, chat. I know YouTube have made it a little bit difficult now because you can't just click next to their name and go and subscribe, but check other people out. Give them subscribers and thumbs up and watch their videos. I've run out of bloody kitchen roll. Uh -oh. <gasps> uh, dun -dun -dun. I'm having to use this, this horrible bloody blue stuff. That is a tendon, depending on the chemistry and the, the sanding sealer or the uh, the wax, it tends to leach colour. Yeah. yeah, and it, it just rips apart as well. Um, it's worse than bloody useless. Really I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, axe paste makes it, whatever's an axe paste, sucks the colour straight out of any, any roll you put on it. Anyone near it? It's, um... <laughs> Emma's joined, and she says, Oh, look, a fairy house. <laughs> <laughs> I am. <Emma>. Emma. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is purely for people, um, or more for people, that like doing uh, wood turn jewellery. Uh, John's saying it's even got Those a natural like door. A Yep, it does look like a fairy house. Yeah. Now that, now they, now the, the, you know, now it's been said, has a door, has the roof. What we need is last night's Tinkerbell. Yeah, what we need is last night's Tinkerbell. There's the door. <laughs> uh, Emma wholly approves of the shape, Wayne. Oh, no, thank no, you, Emma. No, 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 we need to get this. Uh, she says, and I quote, uh, I, I wholly approve of your shape, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you read out so, the, the next yeah, one. Yeah, are you, are you um, <laughs> so are you still driving a truck with old glasses then, Emma? <laughs> wholly approve of my shape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've lost my thread now. If people comment after the video in the comment section, you can go, ah, fine. Uh, Emma, the knucklehead said you said that. Uh, <laughs> Wayne, you missed out, Mike. So you've got to read that. You, you ought to read it better than I would. Oh, okay. So yeah. So from an observational <laughs> perspective, Mike is Mike is suggesting that it will look. It's even got a back door. <laughs> I, I always remember something that me mother said one time. She said, I've got a man coming around the cop and me back passage this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, they moved down a bit. Yeah, I was going to say, Mr. Mr. Twydell, uh, I, I, got a micro <laughs> I, I got a microwave glass kiln yesterday. I'm going to be experimenting with glass and wood. Cool. Cool. Microwave glass kiln. I don't think I've ever seen one of them. No, no, have I. I tried that... Um, Glass Does it out say the long gear on it? Anyway, no, just... right. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm still. I'll just leave the overhead camera on. I've got me Brad all, and I'm just going to make a series of impressions around the rim, um, just to give the drill a start. <laughs> Deal. Just Shut up. up. And it wasn't me. I never did that. That was Scott. He was all right. Okay. <laughs> I refuse to accept the response. I mean, that wasn't me. Mind you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. Mind you, you be careful with your Brado. You don't want to join the Fingers Club twice. And, and, no. And, uh, <laughs> oh, right, stop talking. Then. Stop talking. You made us lose count. I'll have to take my glasses off so I can see properly.
Okay. What have Folks I missed in the chat with the all count. the numbers? The counting. Uh, to put them off. And I hope that we read them out. Folks in the chat are talking about Lichtenberg figures with fractal burning. Um, no. A couple of things for folks to no. remember I before you even do right. this, which is don't talk right. about it in this channel. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, don't talk about it on this channel. I'm not interested. I don't care how safe you are. I'm not interested. Right. I'm just using the Two mil drill. <coughs> drill the holes. Right, there's going to be enough holes in this piece for 21 pairs of earrings. Nice. Uh, Does that mean you've got to buy James 21 pairs of earrings? Oh, no, no. She's got hundreds of pairs of earrings. No, what right. I'll do, I'll just put the. Um, when I find this, the spindle lock in just to hold it in place. Have you got your uh, workshop door open, mine? Yes. Yeah. So the birds are probably outside, not in Wayne's workshop. No, um, I've got it open because being out having coffee and cake, and I need to be able to hear what the dogs are doing. So in the chat, Steve Clydell offers Norris to do that with the least running win. Just saying. <laughs> I thought you had the door open, Wayne, in the hope that going to bring you coffee and cake into the workshop. No, I don't. I have coffee in the morning, and then I don't have hot drinks the rest of the day. I don't know where I'd be without my coffee. Slightly less agitated. I think I'm on about my fifth cup already since 10 o'clock. I'm on my eight. Since 6 a.m. But I drink decaf, so. <laughs> and Bob is saying that uh, Wayne has red wine from 11. Yeah. Just out of interest, Wayne, what size hole are you drilling? Two mil. I am going to buy myself a new chair. Roundabout where I am now is quite delicate because it's close to where the, the pit is. Every time you see Pith, I think of Ian Hartman in the helmet. <laughs> Colin Roberts is saying he drinks a lot of coffee. Three spoonfuls in a pint mug. My word. That is a lot of caffeine, that's caffeine coffee. I mean, like I said, it's decaf. It's the flavour I'm going for, and, and it's pasta, decaf. Yeah, we've, kind of workshop um, is tea. Yeah. Indoors, because I drink a lot of coffee, um, they've bought decaf. But in the workshop, they have caffeinated. Yeah. There's definitely, a, there's definitely a conspiracy at work in that house. You need to somehow supplant the current world order in there and, and introduce some agents of chaos. 
what they need is a is 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 introduced to the appropriate level of mad boyfriend. Did you? <laughs> no, we're, we're boyfriend free in our house at the moment. Good lord! So I'm just going to part this off now and let you see how it looks. So 45 watching mine. Thanks, guys. Uh, please, guys, uh, if you haven't already, hit the thumbs up. There's a uh, out in the chat. Uh, Steve says he gave up coffee during lockdown. Mark says apparently he drinks too many bottles of whiskey daily to maintain his sexy voice. This <laughs> <Yep. laughs> um, um, Colin says he drinks a lot of coffee. Three spoons of pint mug. Mark, that's a bloody bloody good excuse. Says John P. Steve Ellis says not had coffee since before lockdown. Robert Kimler, I might be wrong in that question. Would it have been better to drill the holes before sanding and finish? Yes, it would. But the only thing we're doing that, if I drilled the holes before sanding and finishing, we'd <coughs> have all the holes filled up with wax. Yeah. Mark was on just, to say. Sorry. I'm just taking the nobody nub off the bottom with the skew chisel. That's uh, 50 that's pence. I use. You are uh, Steve. 50 pence. I use Steve now, and that's it. Finished, guys. There we go. I've got the bottom to sand off, but I'll get that done at another time. I'll just bring me... Quick See question, you know? Wayne. Yeah. Uh, Colin says, do you find a thicker parking tool better than a thinning one? A thinner one? Right. I use... Uh, I don't know if you can see the profile on that, but it's Wait, a diamond shape. Like it's a diamond shape, so it actually clears out the curve a hell of a lot easier. It's not a parallel parking tool. Where you've got to keep on widening it, um, so you've got clearance. Right to change camera. As as I was saying, Mark goes on to say it's a vicious rumor being put about by a Scotsman that should remain nameless. Uh, John PBA says T T and more T. Um, uh, you're getting right, some really just... nice comments, Wayne. Absolutely. Uh, Emma's Emma's back and, uh, after having fabulous. a drop. Oh. Colin says, do you find a thicker parting tool better than a thinner one? We've done that one, Dan. Did just answer that? I think he did. Dale's on the go slow. Yeah, I'm looking at the wrong screen now. I'll fuck up the top chat and the other one. Another oh, Maz, which has been finished. Oh, yeah. Uh, In there like that. And there you are. Just come closer to the, the camera so you can see. That was a where am I? There. That was a pair of earrings I turned the other week. When I did the earrings and the pendant and the ring. And that is the earring hanger. All ready to go. Emma. Oh thank you, Emma. Super chat mm -hmm. from doing that. A less suspect shape than she managed on Saturday. <laughs> We're waiting for tomorrow night, Emma. It does look a little bit like a a, a cartoonized sort of Mexican with some some. Uh, oh yeah, uh, uh -huh. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of the things. Maracas, have, have, is it? Have a som sombrero with a pair of maracas. Yeah, sombrero, a pair of maracas. Just it's only anecdotal. Have, have, but, having a, having a has, siesta in the afternoon. That's it. So, the down over the head. so there you go guys um oh my god it wasn't even an hour um, um i'll so let yeah, you I'll, uh, let, <laughs> I'll let you read what? mike's comment all by yourself all right uh, um where are we? <laughs> we'll bring the the proper chat up <laughs> <laughs> You lot are bloody terrible. You really are. We all learned it right. from you, Wayne. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll bring the guys in. There we go. Right, so that's another lunchtime live done. Nice little earring hanger. Um, if anybody's going to make one, I would recommend using a longer piece of wood so you can get the stem longer. Um, 
because obviously people have got the the long danglies. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is, guys. Thoroughly enjoyed doing that. I've had a, a great afternoon again. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, Emma um, says that uh, guys is still giggling from last weekend. <laughs> So we yes, it tomorrow was, uh... night is our challenge to make him carry on giggling. Then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the I've, I've got to see you last Saturday evening was uh, very entertaining. Ah, uh, I love watching Emma's live. It really was. Uh, I had a thoroughly good time. However, she didn't that. ring me like she was going to. Disappointed. Right, um, like I said, thanks for coming in, guys. Had a great right, time sir. doing that. Um, I will see you on Monday. I've no idea what I'm doing. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, later on today... Do a ring treat, though, uh, Wayne. You've done the what? earring hanger. You've done the earring hanger. You could do a ring treat. Oh. Nah. No, I'm sick of jewellery stuff now. <laughs> um... <laughs> Steve's going to send me the invoice for the 50 pence. <laughs> <laughs> um, later on today, um, I think Nick's got a premiere tonight. Oh, Barry's got a premiere. Premier, Barry's got a premiere tonight. What time Barry's is Barry premiere? Barry's premiere is at 19.45. Okay. Um, I think I've, just... I've, I'm sure Nick's got a premiere at about half past seven. Is Nick still in the chat or not? I'm sure I saw it because he's doing something um, dragonish in his premiere. Dragon. Hang on, I'm just going over to have a look. Uh, Nick's premiere is at 19.30, so half seven. Right, and then uh, Stace is on at um, eight o'clock. And then tomorrow we've got um, Scott on at lunchtime. Sorry, Ed Oliver's on uh, at 10 o'clock, turning something very, very thin. Um, Scott's on at lunchtime. Emma's stream starts at 6 and then goes live probably at half past 6. And then Nick's back on at um, 8 o'clock. Sunday, um, are you on a Sunday deal? I am at three o'clock, mate. But before that, right. at one p.m., we've got SK Crafts. Oh, Steve's co coming on on Sunday, one o'clock. And one uh, at three. SK Crafts deals on at three. I think Stuart Farini's doing one uh, this weekend at five. Uh, Chris Fisher, the Blindwood Turner, will be on at half past seven. Then we've got the um, international podcast on, which is a yeah, special one this week. I got some uh, dodgy guests on this week. Yeah, uh, there's a special one this week. Uh, they're going to be talking to um, Scott about the the fundraising thing he's doing, and I think Jamie is also um, auctioning off uh, the bowl that he did in his premiere last night, which was the hot uh, hot glue and paint uh, bowl. Um, then Jimmy usually has a premiere at 11 on Sunday night, and then Caitlin the Cat. Came on straight uh, after. Usually, right? Yeah, usually straight after, around about quarter past 11. Yeah. I'll so that's that. it, guys. That's what. And then we're back to me on Monday again. There's one last question just come up, Wayne. Okay. From Adrian. Yeah. Can any of you, um, so probably you, Wayne, because you're the uh, more prolific turner, um, make a winged bowl with three corners up? And one down, or the other way round, please. Yes. You start off uh, with a cube, Adrian. You start off with a... Um, Georgian, if you... Sorry, Wayne. If you go up through the comments, I did put the link to the Chris Fisher um, website, and the, all the lives are on there. Right. Um, Adrian, uh, what you do is you start off with a, a cube of wood. Give me a minute. I'll carry on with this. I'll not switch off just yet. I think it's his website's ChristopherFisher.co.uk, um, not the blind wood turner. Right, Adrian. So you start off with a cube of wood like this, 
And what you do is you mount it opposite corners to start off with. So you've actually got the corners, the corner, that corner in the headstock and that corner in the tailstock. And then you turn the outside of the ball and you end up with three corners at the top of the ball, uh, just playing round at the bottom of the ball. Then you turn it round into the chuck and clean out the inside of the ball, watching your fingers very, very carefully. That's basically how to do, how it's done. If you go onto Mike Walt's YouTube channel, he did one oh, a good few months ago when he did one, but he, he's done one. Loads of other people have done them. So, yeah, go and have a look at Mike Walt because um, he's certainly done a, a video on it. Uh, Adrian Sand, that will make All right, three. Go that makes three wings. I meant the square one with three sticking upwards and the fourth one down. Oh, you mean like a manta ray? Is that what you mean, Adrian? Oh, I'm trying to remember who did. Who did. I'm sure this was one of um, Stuart Batty's designs. You know when he did the whole bunch, bunch to wind up his dad? It's yeah. got three three corners, three corners. It's usually three corners down and one up. Yes. Um, I, um, um, well, other people have done very similar ones and called yeah. them manta rays. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's something yeah. I've never done. Um, and I've never actually seen it done on video either. Unless Stuart Batty has actually got got it on video. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure. It's on the poster he did. It's from way back when, but yeah. Colin, love the sticker wall blue light. Is that the big one or is that the one behind? Because I've filled it up one. now. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to end it there. We're just coming up to an hour. Um, cool. Let everybody get on with the, um, the rest of their afternoon. Uh, thank you for coming in. Thanks for watching. I'm pleased you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, I'll see you all on Monday. Bye for now, guys. Hit the bloody button. <laughs>